Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today we are going to create another meal in a jar recipe. You guys are loving these. The meal in the jar dish that we are creating today is shepherd's pie. We are going to be using some freeze dried ingredients and I will leave all the links for that down in the description box below along with the full recipe. So please do not feel like you need to keep up during this video. The full recipe will be posted on my blog. Before we get into this video, I want to say make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And right now we are doing a pre-sale for my holiday edition cream of soup recipe ebook. If you are interested in that, it is 20% off right now and will release on November 1st. I will leave the link down in the description box below. However, if you would like a chance to win a free copy, I will post right here how you can enter the giveaway and that will also be drawn on November 1st. And if you happen to do the pre-sale and you are the winner, I will issue your copy for free. So no need to worry. All right, so without further ado, let's get down to business and get to crafting this delicious shepherd's pie that is shelf stable. All right, so here you can see the beautiful spread of everything that we are going to be putting into this, of course. The staple is I'm going to be using ground beef. I know a lot of people use lamb, they use turkey. Use what your family likes. You can order these beef crumbles from Thrive Life. And the next thing of course is the cheese. So I've got the cheese here from Thrive Life as well. We have mashed potato flakes. That is what we are going to be using to make the mashed potato topping. We have the sauce. This is Thrive Life's beef gravy sauce. Typically we use an English sauce, but we are going to try this one out today and see how that holds up. Going to be using some chopped onions by Thrive Life. I will be throwing in a tablespoon of Augustin Farms butter powder. Now Thrive Life does have butter powder as well, but this can is already open. So I will link this down in the description box below as well for you. We're going to be using some mixed veggies, freeze dried mixed veggies. Okay. You can also do this with dehydrated veggies. So if you do not have a freeze dryer, you could do this with dehydrated as well. The shelf life just won't be as long. And then of course some seasonings. We got salt, pepper, garlic salt, or garlic powder, onion powder. All right, so let's get to assembling this. Now, there are a couple things I do wanna mention with this. I have two different routes you can go because obviously the cheese is something that a lot of people add at the end after, and the mashed potato part, you're gonna to wanna to keep separate as well. So there's two ways you could do this. You could do this in a large jar with some small jars on the top is like a little gift or just keep them together wrap a pretty little bow around it and a little jar tag with a jar sticker and that would be a super cute holiday gift or you can go another route and that is to use little plastic baggies okay and put your cheese and your mashed potato with the butter powder in your little baggie and Oh, we need milk powder too. Friends, we need milk powder as well, okay? I will grab that from the cupboard. Forgot about that. And so you take a little clip here and you use this to poke holes in your baggies, okay? So that way when you put the baggies in here and you put your oxygen absorber in here or you pull the, the oxygen out with a vacuum sealer the, with the jar attachment, um, that way the air in your baggies comes out too, okay? So that keeps your ingredients fresher longer, okay? That's a little, a little hack that I learned from watching some other freeze dry channels and that is an amazing hack. And so that is another way to do it. So I'm gonna get this all assembled, okay? I'm gonna grab my butter powder because we definitely need that for our mashed potatoes. We will also show you how this all comes together in the video that will be up here or up here in the cards, okay? So you will get to see how this is reconstituted. That video may just be the one before this or the one after this. So I will leave that all down in the description for you guys to be able to check out, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my cheese separated. So let's get to that. I've got some over here that's already been opened in my jar, so. I'm going to pull from my jar instead of opening up a new container. All 
All right, and of course you can add as much or as little cheese as you want. I'm thinking this is gonna be right around what we're gonna need for my eight by eight dish, which is the size that this shepherd's pie will make. So this is a snack bag. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna take your clothespin. You're just gonna poke some holes in that, okay? All right, so we're gonna set that to the side. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the mashed potatoes. So I'm going to add in one cup of those potato flakes. Also going to add in some of my milk powder. I'm gonna do We do one tablespoon of milk powder. The next thing I'm gonna add in is butter powder. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of butter powder as well. So there you go. So that should make about one and a third cup of mashed potatoes that we can spread over top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my cheese bag into this jar. There we go. And I'm gonna keep that separate from my main contents. So that's how I'm going to package mine, but you are definitely welcome to do it multiple different ways here. For the main jar, we are going to add in first our beef gravy. All right, so we are gonna need one third cup of this beef gravy. Oh, it smells so good. All right, that's gonna be in the bottom. Next thing I'm gonna add is one cup of my unflavored Next, I'm gonna add in one cup of my unflavored freeze-dried ground beef. I think I'm gonna add in half a cup more. Let's do one and a half cups. One and a half cups, there we go. Next I'm going to add in my chopped onions. I'm gonna add in probably two tablespoons. Hmm, let's do one and a half tablespoons. Next thing we are going to add in is our seasonings. Just gonna add in some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Like I said, all the measurements for this will be down in the description box below. Today I'm just kind of eyeballing and throwing stuff together, but there is a full recipe down in the description box, friends. And then last but not least, we are going to throw in our veggies. All right, two cups of freeze-dried mixed veggies or freeze-dried veggies of your choice. I know some people do not like corn in theirs, but we do. So we're gonna have corn in ours. All 
All right, there you go. And the next thing, of course, that you're gonna wanna do is seal these up so that way you can put them on your shelf, okay? And I typically, if I'm using two jars like this, I like to tie them together so that way I know this is a meal. Same with like my um, chicken pot pie where my pie crust is in a separate jar and my chicken filling. I do the same thing. I try to tie them together or with a rubber band so that way I know that those two jars make one meal. So for these to be shelf stable, you're gonna to wanna to seal them up. You can use a vacuum sealer that attaches to your food saver. I will link that down in the description box below to suck out the air on both of these, or you can use oxygen absorbers. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next video. Bye.